Okay, today we are going to learn how to build a simple Lego rubber band car. You can see an example right there. All right, let's get started. Some of the pieces that we're going to need, uh, you can see I have these laid out already for us. So obviously we're going to need our four tires. Doesn't matter which ones you choose. I've chosen this style. I'm using a frame like this, but obviously you could build it with uh, four pieces of Lego. I'm going to take three axles, a long one, two shorter ones. We're going to need our connector and then a, a hole to place our torque rod there. And then we're going to need our four caps. And then I just use these two pegs to put on the top. So let's get this started. First, I'm going to start off at the back end. I'm going to create the back axle. So I'm just going to slide these through here. Put a couple connectors on here. There we go. Push that through. Put a connector on here. Get that inside of there. And there you go. So, so far what I have here, I built the back axle. You can see um, the connector, I try to get this to be in the center as much as possible. And then I'm just going to add my wheels. And I, yes, I do put mine backwards, but you could put yours however you like. There we go. That's what I have so far. And you can see that it runs pretty smoothly. And you can adjust as needed. Next, I'm going to put my peg through here. This is what we're going to wrap the rubber band around. Maybe I should flip this around here. This is going to give us some energy. Again, you'll see how it spins. Pretty easy. All right, next I'm going to build the front axle. I'm going to take this, place it through here. Actually, let me put some of these pegs inside. These little stoppers. Put them in there like that. And there you go. So this is my front axle. There we go. Same thing. I like to put my wheels on backwards. I think they just run a little bit smoother. There we are. Let's see what we have so far. Then next, since I don't have a center piece right here, I'm going to put two pegs in so that we can balance this out a little bit there. And now we have our Lego car built. Lastly, all you need is a simple rubber band. I'm going to place it around the two top pegs. I'm going to paste, attach it to the back rear axle. And there you go. You can see that I'm ready to roll. Wind it up a little bit, or actually wind it backwards a little bit however you like or how much you want, and then let it rip. And there you go. Simple Lego rubber band car. All right, best of luck, guys.